Movie starts in its animated version, where a narrator is narrating the location to be a fairy tale land and magical kingdom called Andalusia. Main characters are also being introduced at the beginning. There was a queen named Nerissa who was wicked, cruel and selfish. She was afraid that if her stepson, Prince Edward marries someone, then she would be left without throne. Queen makes sure that Prince doesn't find any maiden to marry. Scene zooms into a typical fairy tale house where there is a girl Jaisel. She is making a statue of a prince she dreamed about, who was holding hands and dancing with her. Her friends were birds and small animals, who were providing her with different stuff to put on the statue, like a jug as face, gems as eyes and dried leaves as hair etc. Jaisel couldn't find something appropriate to make lips of the statue. She starts to sing a song for her Prince Charming. On the other hand Prince Edward was riding a troll with his servant Nathaniel. Nathaniel praises his troll hunting hobby, when Prince told him that he wants someone to join him in his true love's kiss song. Prince suddenly hears Jaisel's song and he was attracted to it. He took off on his white horse to find the source of the song. Nathaniel wanted to keep him engaged with Troll but fails. He was afraid that Queen will be very angry if Prince gets to meet any maiden. Nathaniel got an idea and he releases that Troll to get the girl who is singing. Troll surpasses Prince and goes to Jaisel's home. He starts chasing her. Jaisel jumps out of her chimney and climbs up a tree, followed by Troll. She starts slipping from the branch and falls in Prince's arms where two of them falls in love immediately and decides to marry after a day. Nerissa was watching everything through her orbiculum, and she decides that she will stop that wedding at any cost. Scene changes to the wedding day, where Jaisel approaches in her carriage with her friends' birds and animals. She rushes out of the carriage and starts climbing the staircase, where her bird friend help her to finish up her look. But Nathaniel locks the door after Jaisel to prevent animals from coming inside the palace. Jaisel was stopped by an old lady, on her way to Prince Edward. Old Lady persuaded her to come to a wishing well with her. Old Lady was actually Queen Nerissa, who was there to stop Jaisel from marrying Prince. When Jaisel was standing at the well, wishing for her happy life ahead, she was pushed into the well by Nerissa. Pip the squirrel sees everything and runs to bring Prince Edward for help. Surprisingly, Jaisel keeps going down the well until she reaches a star-studded galaxy, where she herself turns into a shooting star and falls on a manhole lid. At that point animated Jaisel turns into real-life Jaisel. She removes the lid and comes out in a place totally strange for her. That was Times Square, New York. She emerges from manhole in the middle of the road and being scared of the vehicles all around. She caused some minor accidents there. Afterwards she got pushed inside a subway station with the crowd and finds herself in gloomy lanes of suburbs where she got mugged of her tiara by a beggar. Scene shifts to Robert's office who is a divorce lawyer. He was discussing divorce matter settlements when his secretary reminds him that he needs to pick up his daughter. She also asks Robert if he has talked to his daughter about him marrying Nancy, his girlfriend, to which he says no, but he is going to give his daughter a present tonight that will ease breaking the news to her. In a cab ride to home, Robert is sitting with his daughter Morgan, when he presents her with a book about important women. He then starts telling her about Nancy that how he is going to ask her to marry him, but he also ensures Morgan that she doesn't have to give up on anything, and Nancy will be a good addition to their family. There Jaisel is walking as the rain pours, that's when she sees a casino's billboard with a palace drawn on it. She starts climbing up to get to the palace and starts knocking on the door. That's when Robert's cab halts there, and Morgan seeing a palace and a princess runs towards them excitedly. Robert follows Morgan, where Jaisel slips and lands on Robert. Robert asks her if she wants him to call someone, but she told him that he would not be heard from here. Scene shifts to Robert's apartment building, and Robert and Morgan are walking towards their apartment along with Jaisel, who is telling her whole story to Morgan that how old lady pushed her in a well, and how she ended up being with them. Robert reminds her that she is not going to stay here, he just wants her to dry off, call someone for help. Morgan really wants her dad to allow Jaisel to stay at their place, but he refuses again. Jaisel was too tired, as she closes her eyes and sleeps at the couch right there. When Robert was calling a cab for Jaisel, he gets flattened by Jaisel's innocent sleeping face. He changes his decision, and asks Morgan to sleep with him as to give Morgan's room to Jaisel. On the other hand, Edward along with Pip dives into the magic well, and emerges at Times Square. He held sewer worker at his sword point to investigate about Jaisel. Edward thinks that the sewer workers are an old lady's team. Edward asks them to find Jaisel and he himself sets off in her search. Whereas Pip now realizes that he cannot talk here in real world. Scene shifts to Robert's apartment, where Jaisel wakes up and finds herself in a quite messy apartment. She goes to a window and calls all the birds and small animals for her help. Jaisel along with cockroaches, rats, pigeons and others start cleaning up the whole apartment in her own way. One pigeon breaks a plate in an attempt to stack it up in cupboard. This sound wakes up Morgan, she being fantasized by the whole scene of cleaning wakes Robert. Robert and Morgan try to bring the animals out of their apartment. Robert goes to talk to Jaisel about this whole thing, but she was in bathroom for a shower. When he goes in, he finds two pigeons wrapping a towel around Jaisel 
to which he gets really amazed. Jaycel inquires him about the water coming from shower as it was new for her. At the same time Nancy comes to their apartment to pick up Morgan for school. But she was amazed by the neatness of home. Inside the bathroom when Robert was about to come out with Jaycel, they both were struck with the pigeons, and Robert falls on the floor with Jaycel landing on top of him. Nancy sees them like that together and gets furious. Nancy leaves their place with Robert following but all in vain, she took off in a cab quickly. On reaching back an apartment, he finds Jaycel wearing a new dress made out of curtains. He gets angry and tells Jaycel the whole scenario of Nancy thinking that they kissed or something, and he was about to propose her. But all this happened now Jaycel must leave. That's when Morgan interrupted as she was getting late for school. Nerissa watching everything from her orbiculum, gets angry to the thought that what would happen if Edward found Jaycel. She tempts Nathaniel to go after him, and jump in the well to ensure that Jaycel and Edward never find each other. Nathaniel also appears at Times Square, where he tells sewer workers that he is looking for a prince. Right there Edward is riding top of the bus and stabs the roof of bus, while searching for Jaycel. Nathaniel sees him there getting shouted on from the bus driver. The driver gets distracted from the pip sitting on her head. Then Edward and Nathaniel took off from there. Scene changes with Robert taking Jaycel along to his office. His clients were already there waiting for him. He asks his secretary to keep an eye on Jaycel and find some way to send her back to her town. Nathaniel is in a restaurant's kitchen, where he is hearing Queen's voice. He finds Queen talking to him through a boiling soup. She asks Nathaniel if he found Jaycel, to which he says not yet but he is going to find her very soon. Queen gives him three poisonous apples through that soup, and asks him to give these apples to Jaycel whenever he finds her. After that, Queen disappears, but Nathaniel sees reflection of Pip, who is on the shelf and of course heard everything. Nathaniel starts chasing Pip, where Pip goes to Edward who was about to start his lunch. As Pip can't talk now, he starts mimicking about the Queen and Nathaniel's evil plan, but Edward fails to understand what Pip is trying to say. Here, Jaycel is at Robert's office, when Robert comes out with his clients who looked pretty satisfied with the settlements. Robert's secretary tells him that there is no place like Andalasia, as she called all the travel agents and airlines. While Robert was talking to his secretary, Jaycel goes up to a lady client, and starts praising her looks. That's when Robert intervenes and tells her that they are not together anymore. Upon hearing about their separation Jaycel bursts into tears, discomforting the client couple and they leave in a bad mood. Robert also gets scolded by his boss by handling the case like this. Robert dragged her out of his office, where Nathaniel and Edward were looking for Jaycel. Nathaniel spots Jaycel with Robert, but he distracted Edward in opposite direction. Robert gave her some money and asks her to leave, but he keeps on watching her with the urge on his face to stop her. He sees Jaycel giving all the money to an old lady while inquiring about Prince Edward. That lady was the one who was riding that bus which Edward stabbed. Upon hearing it from the old lady, Jaycel was beyond happy. Robert asks her the duration of their love to which she said it's been a day. She asks Robert about his relationship with Nancy, to which he said it's been five years. They both were surprised on their different theories of love. Robert tells her that there is no happily ever after in the real world, and explains her that how actually dating works. Meanwhile, Nathaniel appears as a vendor of caramelized apples and he gives one to Jaycel for free of cost. But while enthusiastically talking to Robert she threw that apple, which landed on a helmet of a cycle rider and the helmet was immediately melted and ruined as the poison used was too powerful. Jaycel asks him to sing a song for Nancy to cheer her up, and to show his love for her. She starts singing in Central Park, where she was accompanied by street performers from the entire park. Upon hearing Jaycel's song, Edward rushes towards the voice, but got run over by a group of cyclists. Jaycel also sends flowers to Nancy on Robert's behalf, through birds. Nancy was so flattered by receiving flowers from Robert. She patches up with him. She has also received tickets for ball from Robert, which she finds unlike him and romantic. Edward and Nathaniel checks in a motel where they find TV. They thought it is a magic mirror. Edwards keeps on scrolling the channels, when Pip emerges from a popcorn box and starts trying to explain everything to Edward, but he got caught by Nathaniel. Nathaniel leaves the motel and Pip starts following him. Scene changes to a restaurant, where Robert is sitting with Jaycel and Morgan is seated with her nanny. Robert tells Jaycel about her ex-wife that she left them, and now he doesn't want Morgan to take life as a fairy tale with happily ever after. Nathaniel appeared there as a waiter, and offers Jaycel with martini made from poisonous apple. Pip reaches there and manages to stop Jaycel from drinking it. Nathaniel goes after Pip, but he hides under the pizza. Nathaniel throws that pizza into the oven, but Pip manages to get away and falls in a glass bottle. Jaycel is upset, thinking that Pip must have burnt to death. Edward is watching a news report about a chipmunk creating a scene at restaurant. That's when he sees Jaycel talking to the reporter. He gets excited by knowing about Jaycel. Jaycel is putting Morgan to bed and she tells her about a happening, when Red Riding Hood holding an axe was chasing Wolf. Morgan tells her that she is not aware of this version, 
to which Jaisal replies that Red told everyone a little different story. Edward manages to find Robert's apartment building, but he was unable to find the right apartment. On the other hand, Robert is trying to convince Jaisal that Edward is not coming to get her and she has to think about living by her own. Jaisal gets angry, because she didn't want to let go of her hopes and expectation about Edward. Robert was in a bathrobe, and Jaisal upon seeing his chest, felt a moment of weakness but Robert leaves. In the morning, when Jaisal was making breakfast for everyone, Edward reaches there and holds Robert on sword point, as he thought that Robert was keeping Jaisal captive. Jaisal tells him that they are her friends. Edward starts singing a song, but stops when Jaisal was not singing along. Jaisal asks him to go on a date before marrying. She also explains the concept of dating which Robert has explained to her. Jaisal bids farewell to Morgan and Robert, as she was returning to Andalusia with Edward. Robert and Morgan were feeling very low to let her go. Queen Nerissa was watching everything through her orbiculum. She was scolding Nathaniel through his drink, and tells him that she is coming to kill Jaisal herself. Scene changes, with Edward and Jaisal hanging out in New York. Edward has collected many souvenirs, he asks Jaisal to go back to Andalusia but she is reluctant. She asks Edward to go for ball. In the next scene, Jaisal picks up Morgan and goes to shopping and spa, using Robert's credit card. They both have never gone to shopping without their mothers, but both of them felt good with each other. Nerissa reaches Times Square with an explosion. She finds Nathaniel, who was driving a cab. Nerissa turns a spherical fountain into orbiculum, and sees Edward going to ball along with Jaisal. Edward and Jaisal reaches ball, where Robert and Nancy were already dancing. Both the couples were surprised and happy to see each other. Nancy was inspired by Edward's straightforward portrayal of love for Giselle. Next, host asks couples to disintegrate and dance with someone else. Edward took Nancy and Robert starts dancing with Giselle. While passionately dancing together, Robert and Giselle realize their feelings for each other. But it was too late. They get interrupted by Nancy and Edward. Giselle set off with Edward to go back to Andalusia. Edward goes to get Giselle's coat. Meanwhile, Queen appeared as the same old lady while Jaisal was watching Nancy kiss Robert. Old Lady offers her an apple and says that it will help her in forgetting all the painful memories. Jaisal takes a bite and falls unconscious. That apple was picked up by Robert, who was dancing with Nancy. Queen is taking off with Jaisal in an elevator, but gets stopped by Edward. He becomes worried watching Jaisal. Nathaniel comes in and tells Edward that Queen has tried to poison Jaisal. Upon hearing this Edward becomes very cross to Queen. Robert asks Edward to give Jaisal a true love's kiss, as Jaisal had told him that it is the most powerful thing in the world. Edward tries kissing Jaisal several times, but nothing worked as it was supposed to. Edward and Nancy realizing Robert's love for Jaisal, and they ask Robert to kiss Jaisal. Robert's kiss revived Jaisal, but Queen furiously turns herself into an evil dragon. The dragon tries to kill Jaisal, but when Robert gets in its way, evil dragon holds Robert and climbs up to the highest point of the building. Jaisal follows them with Edward's sword, leaving her shoe behind. Jaisal tried to rescue Robert from the evil dragon, but Pip appears there and distracts the dragon. The dragon loses her balance and falls down to her death. Upon rescuing, Robert shares a kiss again with Jaisal. Coming inside ballroom, Edward asks Nancy to try on Jaisal's shoe that fits perfectly. Edward and Nancy took off to Andalasia where they got married. Robert and Jaisal also got married and were living a very contented life as Jaisal also launches her clothing line named Andalasia's Fashion. Nathaniel writes his best-selling book about his real-life experiences, while Pip was also doing the same back in the animated world. Everyone lived happily ever after.